When I first got to UCLA in 1970, 43 years ago, Coach Wooden was a young, spry, healthy guy, <laughs> rosy cheeks, jet black hair, debonair with a real spring and bounce to his step. Within 18 months of me being there, the guy had two heart attacks, was all bent over, his hair turned chalk white. I just ruined his life. I argued with him about everything about Vietnam, about Nixon, about politics, about social issues, about whether the cheerleaders could be in my hotel room on the road trips or whatever. <laughs> I lost every argument, every single one. And while I would challenge him on everything, facial hair, hair length, wardrobe, you name it, he'd finally just get to the point where he'd say, Walton, I admire and respect your position, but you know what? I'm the coach here, and while we've enjoyed having you, we're going to miss you. <laughs> and when he said that, I knew it was time. Because nothing, nothing would jeopardize my position of wanting to be part of that special team. And so when they asked him when he was 96, they said, Coach, were you really going to kick Walton off the team? Were you really going to kick Walton off the team because he wasn't going to shave, wasn't going to cut his hair? And unhesitantly, Coach said, the only thing that matters is that Bill thought I was. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> And that's why, as a coach, as a leader, the two most valuable tools you have, the word no and the bench. <laughs>